one of my favorite things about doing comedy and like doing shows and traveling a little bit is when you get to work with, work with people in like different cities that are your yeah, friends. Man. Yeah. Cause actually I have that show. So I will on October 5th, I'll be at the black monk brewery in Erie, but it's yeah. with people, that, everyone is people I know. Yeah. It's so fun. So it's That's me, cool. uh, Whitney Moore, who's hysterical. Yes. My, uh, my boy Cody Cannon from West Virginia, from Morgantown, and then uh, An- was, uh, Anthony. Anthony, I can't remember for his last name. Anthony so sorry. Peluso. <laughs> He's um, right here. No, just, no. No, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, but yeah, um, I don't pull my phone up, but um, but uh, but I met Cody Cannon. Who do you know, Cody? Mm-mm. Oh man, Cody's the he's no. the dude, man. Cody's my homie from Morgantown, and I met him actually in like like right before the pandemic. We met. At Hambones, when we were still oh, there. Okay. So we met at Hambones because we opened for Charlie Vergos from Nashville. Yeah. Um, for when it was the old Burning Bridges uh, Comedy Club. So we met him. I met him there, and then we just kind of stayed friends. Yeah. So I've had him up for my shows at the arcade and at the coffee shop yeah. a bunch of times. Um, I've done shows. He did shows for years at. Um, Morgantown Brewing Company and One Two Three Pleasant Street in Morgantown, and always great. I got to open for like, you cool know, one. fucking yeah. Bill Squire, uh, Mike Kaplan, yeah. a couple, couple times Mike Kaplan, yeah. who's hysterical. Hell yeah! Um, so did you start in West Virginia? Is that where you're? Oh no, no. Actually, I'm originally from Natrona Heights, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Not to brag, yeah. But I'm from, <laughs> but I'm from the Natty. Uh, but yeah, I so I grew up like. Honestly, kind of like this. I grew up um, yeah. in a old like steel mill town. Yeah. Yeah, uh, piece about, of shit. About, yeah, it's just, <laughs> I'm sure we'll see some crackheads hobble across. Oh soon. hell yeah, man! I think one already did actually. What, come come we... here with the like the like the thriller video. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> All they needs a red jacket and some zippers. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, Said Drake. But, uh, but yeah, I'm okay. from like you know little town, half hour northeast of Pittsburgh. You know that's so I started. I was still living at home when I started doing stand up, but um I started doing comedy in two thousand and eight or nine. Oh, okay. Um I went really hard for like two years, burned myself out. Um then I was like, I'm gonna be a rock star. I was not <laughs> you need to be really good to do music for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, I am I am lower medium good, <laughs> not yeah. very good. So then um yeah, I just started What do doing, you play? Uh so oh, this order. Okay. Decent, like a pretty good, pretty good guitar. Yeah. Decent bass, okay drums, shitty piano. In that order. <laughs> in in that descending order. order. <laughs> um, <coughs> but yeah, then I started doing comedy again when I was living in Millville, and um, that's it. So that was like 2017, 16, 2017. So yeah, so I guess in so, but I don't count the early. Years really, I kind of do, but so really, I think I've just been doing. So I would say I've been doing comedy for like six years, six seven years. Okay. Yeah. 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 How oh, begins? Yeah. Uh, so what? I'm going on like sixteen months of comedy. Oh, that's rad. Stand up. Yeah. And then we were doing like online comedy. Yeah. Shit for yeah a year or two. Well, like YouTube a little and bit stuff. More. Yeah. Yeah. TikTok, yeah. YouTube, um, and we had an old podcast that we did um, back whenever COVID hit. <laughs> I um I did TikTok for a while, and I just like I don't know I just felt like um I just don't think don't think that I was very good at it. I think that um just me I was just like. I just got older. That's it. It's it's like it's yeah. fine. I just it's I just weird got older. To get yeah. used to. Yeah. I had like I don't know a little bit of success on it. Yeah. Like doing dumb little v- music voiceover things and dumb yeah. little skits and stupid shit. I guess. But like YouTube is a grind and a half. Yeah. YouTube yeah. is there are so a many fucking YouTubers. grind. Yeah. yeah. That is like the. I mean, like that's. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll tell you. So, okay, what I'm gonna say sounds super weird, but so it remember, sexy remember already. when, <laughs> uh, remember when Jake Paul got in trouble? Not Jake Paul, uh, the other one. What's his name? Um, Logan. Logan Paul. Yeah. For the Japan video. Oh yeah. Okay. The Which that was forest. fucked up, right? That was like yeah. not okay. Yeah. 
Um, I did, though, I understood when he was like, listen, he's like, that was wrong. I apologize. First of all, I didn't believe his, his apology was worship, by the way. So, <laughs> yeah, his, you know, he was like, yeah. he was like, cry, cry. <laughs> like an hour before he hit record. He was like, just cry. Just think about like, Ugh. he was trying. Yeah. So anyway, he's, they're both like awful dudes yeah. in my opinion, but whatever. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, you can just like yeah. kind of look at them and be like, wow, you're a Shit, you have roofies in your pocket, I bet. Yeah. Just yeah. like, yeah, that's yeah. how they were. Yeah. 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 They're Logan. looking, they're yeah. predators, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Logan Paul's middle name is statutory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, so, um, but he was like, hey, understand that, like, every day of my life for three or so it was like three or five years, every day of my life, I write, film, and edit a TV show every day. And so I was like, okay. I can get that part of it. Where yeah. like you're just like, what else can we do? When, yeah, because like you said, like every day, it's hard. There are people that, there to people that, that try content. to upload every day, like yeah. a 15 yeah, minute insane. TV show every day, and it's hard to keep up. With yeah, content. that's what. Um, so like I've been watching a lot of stuff. Uh, we talked about it before. The Predator Catchers. At what Dude. point does it become you're just trying to generate content and yeah. you're being sloppy? Yeah. Because well, uh, I, th- I think it reached that point pretty quickly yeah so like we uh well trevor austin talked about it on here like some dude who like he genuinely he was like (laughs) he was trying to go to rehab actually or whatever and like these dudes were like no you want to fuck a kid and he's like bro what are you talking about like and like i feel like you're kind of like reaching that point where they're just like oh dude listen i so I think that one of the reasons why I, because I was uploading to TikTok a couple times a week. You know what I mean? Yeah. I and was to um, do what, I, what I was doing, at first I was doing like fact videos. And then I would actually, this is so stupid. I record them on the toilet. So I begin, <laughs> I begin every video with, with, with good morning, uh, I'm Dave, and I'm pooping. And here's ten facts about dinosaurs. Okay? That's actually a great idea. Yeah, I that's um, pretty fucking funny. Yeah, I did it for a, for a while actually. Yeah. It was embarrassing, but then I started doing. It never um, gained any traction. Not really. They're like, oh great, this guy's taking his but, shit. But it's because though, <laughs> because again, like YouTube and TikTok, for example, right, and Instagram and everything. There are so many people that do the fact videos. Yeah. yeah. That are just like like top ten That's facts fair. about Pittsburgh, about Pennsylvania, about dinosaurs. You can like yeah. you can right now search anything and go top ten facts about chairs, cameras, yeah. tables. You know <laughs> Even I mean? like with our podcast clips, the ones that generally do best is when we're talking about like a unique fact. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like people, yeah, for sure. Jokes don't work as well, you know. It's, yeah, it's weird. I um, I, I believe it, like for sure, it's, because I think also like people like um, people like those little like tidbit, little a little amuse bouche yeah. of a little factoid. Like yeah. yeah, they love that shit. Yeah, I um, but like, I think that um, it's like oh, then I started doing where I would find either one of my own photos or someone's from my friends from Facebook or something, or like on Reddit, and I would put it on, on green screen and kind of make jokes about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And those got like a little bit of traction. traction. Yeah. But I, the those only are th- fun to do. I, I'm not even sure if you can call it going viral, to be honest with you. I don't think I, I, don't think I went viral. But so it was actually the, the morning my wife and I were going on our honeymoon. Yeah. So we got married in 2020, pandemic, right? Yeah. So on 2021, we went for our anniversary slash honeymoon to Vegas. All right. So I made this video and it was, um, if your cat could talk, where in this case, I am the cat. So I lean in the frame and say, hey, um, put more food in my bowl. My bowl is full, but put more food in it. And I'm going to eat it and then puke on your bed. Speaking of bed, tonight I'm going to start meowing at nothing at three in the morning. All right, good talk. And that was the whole video, right? I seen that. Okay. One. So I thought that was like, medium funny so we leave for vegas right my phone is on um airplane mode it's for like nine happens. hours yeah we get to vegas yeah. we get in the uber t- put my phone off of airplane mode and my phone goes bam 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 like that yeah for like five minutes and so i think right now last i looked at it it was a few months ago and it has like 
two hundred and seventy thousand views or something like that. Pretty sure you know it's I mean? still considered viral. Um, that's pretty but, good. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get numbers. But like that's that. the thing, though, is that like you're like all the videos I like feel like I like put effort into. Yeah, and I thought oh, it was very funny. That's you how get like it four goes. views. I shit out this little video the morning I'm leaving for Vegas. And it gets two hundred some thousand views. That's, That's ridiculous. It always fucking does. Yeah. yeah, the biggest video I ever did blew up because of the baby blanket I used in the video, <laughs> and everybody was like, "Oh my god, I had that same blanket growing up." That was like a bulk <laughs> of the fucking comments. Yeah, and I, it was a lot. <laughs> so like, it was, it was fucking crazy. But like, that was the thing that triggered. Yeah. going as viral as it, it's still going. I still get likes on it. It's, I don't even know how much it is at this point. Oh, that's but funny. Like, and then, what, we've had a couple of good clips, too. Yeah. Like, uh, mostly stories and, like, interesting facts. It yeah. Seems like uh, the bank cart. Bank cart was the one funny one that's yeah did pretty good because it was, like, I think his bang, is still bang, gone, too. Bang. It's like... He posted it separate, and his is what, like five or six hundred thousand or something like that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but but that's on Instagram. So like again, like YouTube is hard. It's a jungle out there. It really is. You know what I mean? To funnel in subscribers and views, like I mean, it slowly does it, but like it's. Well, okay. So, all right. So YouTube, Instagram, and stuff. All right, I feel like. Cause I, you know, I'm on Reddit, yeah. Because the fuck else am I doing, right? Yeah. So <laughs> there was this I follow a subreddit called "I'm the main character." <laughs> and it's basically, just people being dickheads in yeah. public. Yeah. And a lot of them are these people who are like, they're trying to go viral, but they don't have a concept <laughs> or or talent. Yeah. They're not like, oh, I'm, you know. They're just a narcissist. It sounds like I'm telling I'm telling a joke. I have a talent. I'm I'm a good dancer. I can yeah. sing. Yeah. They're like, I'm gonna go into like the giant eagle and yeah. scream. Yeah, and push yeah. this old lady out of the yeah. watermelon aisle. I yeah. need that. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna like be a menace in public. <laughs> it's like so it's 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 They're just sociopaths. The That's is, all yeah. it is. I don't think people have really changed. I think people have kind of always been that way. Like people people have always been willing to do anything for attention. That's but yeah. I think now that it's like I can now make some it's money monetized. getting attention. Yeah. And yeah. it's not because like in like you know, big companies they're they're fucking evil. You know what I mean? They're evil. So they're like, they don't care that this person is being an absolute menace in public. No. They have views. Yeah. So we're gonna give them Slap our a shirts. Mountain Dew logo yeah. on it and yeah, fucking exactly. call it yeah. a day, dude. It's like it's like you you see like a, you see some 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 dickhead like throw chocolate milk at a yeah. little kid at like in, in Target yeah. and it's like <laughs> sponsored by monsters. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was thinking of something like something nice like brought to you by like Yankee Candle. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy cheese wedges. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? Like, okay, like, um, let's say like things that you like to enjoy when you're altered. Okay? <laughs> you know what's the best? Alt- one of the best altered snacks <laughs> is that my wife buys them little. <laughs> Baby, baby Bell, baby Bell okay. cheese yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I'll eat like six of them shits. And she's like, "Where the f- those are for my lunch, asshole. And I'm like, I'll wake up what? at four in the morning and just eat cheese in my yeah. underwear and the <laughs> in the kitchen. Just like, yeah, this is, Dude, listen, this is um, it. With, with the first like two weeks, we brought our baby home. We were zombies. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, you know, do you, yeah. have, do you have kids, Anthony? Uh, yeah. Yeah. One. Like, yeah. Like, you're a zombie. And so like, I said I kind of turned into a possum. I would just like I would like have I would like have, I would just have my baby in this arm. Yeah. My eyes were like this. I would just open the fridge and grab like turkey cheese yeah. twinner, like yeah. cheese oh, twinner yes. and a pickle, put it in my mouth. Yeah. And I was like, what's his name? Frank Reynolds from It's All Funny. Like I'm oh, yeah. making a hoagie in my yeah. mouth. <laughs> I was yeah. just I was just shoving meats and cheese in this. Keep on yeah. going. I always felt like Tony Soprano, just fucking eating because <laughs> eat I like Gabagool. salami. Yeah. And yeah, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer fucking salami, pepperoni, fucking yeah. Gabagool. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Yes, and fucking oh, any cured uh, meats. Also pepperback. Or uh, pepper jack cheese. Oh mm. hell yeah, dude! For sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, um, my favorite. My 
all time <laughs> my all time favorite thing, which honestly it's it's been a while for me, but back in let's say my back in the day, <laughs> my favorite thing to eat while drunk was like an Italian hoagie. Yes. Like a good Italian hoagie on some good bread, all the meats and cheeses, yeah, yeah. the salami, the, the, you know, yeah, Just the cap, right capicola. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, it's always delicious. I'm saying that like I'm like, do you ever like there's certain foods where you're like, listen, I just want to eat that with my eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? I just want to like put on the office <laughs> on Peacock and just go like <laughs> and just eat a giant Some sandwich. Wild pepper rings on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, or like mm. um yeah. or like you you can't disregard the deliciousness of <laughs> I call them um uh poverty nachos. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Microwave yes. nachos, yeah, dude. paper plate, tortilla yes. chips, trade cheese, throw the bitch in the microwave for a little bit. Hell then you got yeah. some but also if you have like all the good shit for nachos, <laughs> yeah. you got some sour cream, guac and salsa, and you're like, I am a king today. Yeah. That makes so me think good. of what was it, Saving Silverman? Where Jack Black oh, picks yeah. up the whole plate, he's like, if it's all <laughs> stuck together, it's That's one, one nacho. nacho. <laughs> 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 um, that movie's so funny. And yes. I always love that, like... It's a classic, People, man. People that, like... Um, people that oftentimes play people who are dumb are really smart. Because yeah. Steve Zahn <laughs> went to Harvard. That's... <laughs> yeah. Steve Zahn is, like, a Harvard-trained actor. And That's he always so plays funny. dummies. Yeah. It's so good. That was such a great movie. Uh, and that unlocked you yeah. talking about the <laughs> those nachos really unlocked it for me <laughs> that was, was an like, oh, unlocked it was memory oh, it was a lug nut yeah i it feel was like i just nut. leveled up just uh, <laughs> i um what's funny those those there's those movies that were from like 98 to like 05 have been like so forgotten but are like slowly getting yeah. refound by like gen z people yeah so like i had a coworker couple years ago what's up nate who he was 23 what up nate? and yeah and so i was like an old man like you know yeah. he's a kid and um would you he, watch he, beer fest i <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude love beer fest um i know uh, it's, like it's, it. it's, like, it's like it's like there's it's not a good looking man here back the fuck up antonio my dick um, <laughs> i uh but no like he had never seen like Saving Silverman. He'd never seen like Road Trip, Euro Trip. Oh, and man. I was like, oh, you're missing Scotty out. Scotty doesn't know. Yeah, dude. so good. Yeah. <laughs> the banger so, of the early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, I am. Um, <laughs> Not um, another teen movie. But yeah. <laughs> dude, Beer Fest is so good. Beer Fest is such a good movie. I rewatched it. You know what? I also rewatched uh, lately. Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I recently watched Basketball, yeah, yeah. and I'm so happy I did, dude. I was like, man, this is just as funny as I remember it. Um, I know that, like, be I guess I think it was because of Team America. Matt Stone says he'll never make a movie again. Well, that like it just, a, it just wore him out because he was like that like, was I, a I tough guess, movie to make. Though. Yeah, dude, that's so hard with those real dudes, puppets. Yeah, <laughs> those dudes said that they don't remember making season three of South Park because of, of making the movie because they're making bigger, longer, uncut. Yeah, yeah. they have no memory of that season whatsoever. They're like, I don't know, we were there, yeah. I guess. Well, the <laughs> way they still, I mean, well, up when they were doing it, uh, still weekly. six days, man. Yeah. It was un that's an yeah. unbelievable yeah. process. They also, had. that documentary yeah. is did you ever see that yes. on, it's on YouTube yeah. three. <laughs> it's why no. I know. Six, it's called Six Days to Air because they make every episode in six days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew that. It's so unbelievable. Good. But have you ever have you ever seen um, Orgasmo? No, no. So they made so remember Squeak from Basketball? Yeah, he's in that movie too. Okay. So um, actually, the, there's a uh, I think it's a I think I want to say it's a poster on Cartman's wall. Or it may be an action figure in someone's room. I've heard is orgasmo. orgasmo. That's what it, that's what that is. Okay. But they made a movie in like 1997 or eight, <laughs> and it's this movie where Trey Parker plays a Mormon missionary who comes in, who starts doing porn. It's <laughs> awesome. But they also made um, they made a Cannibal the Musical. 
which is awesome. Cannibal the Musical, Orgasmo, Basketball, then Bigger, Longer, Uncut, and then uh, Team America. And, and then and, uh, and what movies. they did the Broadway thing too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Book of Mormon. Yes, yeah. yes. And I've never seen that, and I need to because yeah. I heard it's really fucking. Good. Yeah, it's really funny. Those dudes make me angry because it's like they're so good at everything. I, <laughs> they're Effort, so good, almost at everything. effortlessly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember so. They did, um, it was amazing. They did a 25th anniversary of South Park concert at Red Rock in Colorado. Did you see that? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, so Trey Parker plays piano and sings the whole thing, right? But, <laughs> but I feel like, like Matt fuck, Stone dude? is like so like low key. Yeah. He's so chill. <laughs> you watch this, this concert, right? Matt Stone plays guitar, bass, <laughs> drums, and sings the whole thing. Like, he played drums with, uh, they brought out um, fucking uh, Getty Lee, and um, they brought out um, Rush. Oh, yeah. And he yes, plays with right. Rush. Plays, he plays the Neil Pert drum parts from Rush. <laughs> just like, you know, no, you know NBD. No yeah. big deal. No big deal. Dude. I'm just yeah. listening to this thing. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, wow. We got to produce an episode here, so we got to get back. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. like, what like, the wow. fuck, dude? <laughs> How? Yeah. It's, it's just nuts. Like, yeah. Amazing. It really is. It's crazy. Then if you, if you notice, notice this uh, tattoo right here is from the stone cutters from the Simpsons. Fuck Because yeah, I'm one dude. of those guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, He's a big Simpsons Every guy, once in dude. a while, someone who looks like you, sir, would be like, you know, you're stone cutters. <laughs> 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 like, I know my demographic, yeah. man. It's, yeah. it's me and you, dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. I, um, it's my f- I, it, the, the first 10 seasons or so is the funniest so shit. So good. My, ever. um, Seasons, I think it's, I want to say it's three through six, which is um, the head writer was Conan O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, that's when it was in its best. absolute dude, prime, dude. King Size Home, where he got, got fat to go on disability. That's my favorite episode, <laughs> yeah, okay. dude. And then Homer goes to college, is mine. Homer goes to college when he bases his entire, Homer bases his entire knowledge of what college is on Animal House knockoff movies, <laughs> specifically that the the, the the um school of hard knockers, and, and so like the dean of his college is like the nicest guy ever, and he's like, I'm gonna take the start to that stuff shirt. I'll get that dean. The guy's like, Hey, I'm Bobby. What's up? <laughs> I play bass in the Pretenders, and he's like, Ah, that fucking guy. And he's like, he's so nice. That's one where the, the famous he calls him for the payphone. Hey, dean, you're a stupid head. He's like. Oh, is that you? And he runs away. You can see them from the street. So good. I need to watch them. What are, what are all of the... Oh, it's on Disney, huh? Yeah. yeah. Disney, it's on Disney Plus, yeah. Disney Plus. I really love the Halloween episodes of that. Too. Oh, they're all great. Yeah. 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 And actually, I have even seen like some newer ones that are from Halloween that are still pretty good. Yeah. They still go out for those ones. But the nor- the show in general, though, is just pure... is garbage. Yeah. And it's just no, like, I agree. Oh, no. I don't know if like what... Matt Groening's plan is sincerely. I don't know what like he wants to do. Right. I don't get what his plan. Why they're still going? That's like I know. Family Guy. It's so yeah. sad. Like man. I don't really like a lot of the newer Family Guys. Either. Yeah. Like it's not like all of them are bad, but like it's not like what it used to be. No. And like no. And now a Family Guy episode is just one reference after another. At yeah. This point yeah. it's just like it's a South Park episode. Yeah. The man. Yes. That, that, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like, hey, hey guys, remember when I was ha- having a, a cheesesteak hoagie with uh, <laughs> with with Paul McCartney, and yeah. then it just t- goes to that. That's yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was, um, uh, I think he still has one, but my boy Chris Scriva had an OnlyFans oh, for yeah. his comedy. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, so Chris Scriva, <laughs> shout Shreve, out, brother Chris Scriva. Uh, we got. I wanna. I hope there's more than comedy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm going to yeah. say. So your boy Chris, <laughs> Chris Griva, as far as I know, still has an OnlyFans. Incredible. We need to promote that more. I think. So good. Yeah. Dude, Amazing. You need the, well, you know what? Him and Haas were on. They both, like, they dressed, uh, Scriva dressed like Haas with a cowboy hat. Oh, nice. And I feel like that needs to be his profile pic on <laughs> OnlyFans, dude. Just yeah. fucking. I, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did Big Hoss's podcast, uh, and that was a lot of fun. And um, I've known Scriva for a long time. He used to host the open mic at the Smiley Moose years ago. Yeah, and man. I always thought that he was being like professional because he was wearing a suit and tie. He just came from work. 
I was, I, was like, I was like, this guy takes yeah, this shit no. serious. Yeah, no, you know what, man? Scriba, I have a lot of questions sometimes, and Scriba helps me out a lot, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Him, Trevor, like, whenever I have, like, quite, I'm like, I don't, what do you do for this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, well, dude, Scriba was the on business that, like, and out, like, you know what I mean? Just, like, it's weird sometimes. And he'll always, like, hit me up if someone's looking for shows, which I feel like I can never help anybody out. Last I never can. Last minute, I'm, I'm never able to help anybody out. But he'll be like, yo, man, do the show. And I'm like, oh, I don't. I'm sorry. He's like, all right, man, I just want to ask you. And so he always keeps me in the loop. So, yeah. So, Chris Creva, yeah. is, is this my camera? Chris Creva, you're, you're awesome. The man. Everyone loves you. <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone loves Creva. Keep screaming. Uh, yeah, keep screaming. <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh, oh, so real fast before I forget. So, to about the, uh, the Newcastle. Because, so, um, Saturday... November 2nd. So my company, I, I put down my money. I have an actual LLC, damn it. Yeah. I got a lawyer and everything. I have a company, <laughs> all right? So my company is called Chip Tam Comedy. So um, November 2nd is the Chip Tam Comedy Jam. I saw that. Thank you very much. Yes. So um, it's a Spirit Hall. Tickets are on sale Spirit's now. It's fucking awesome, too. Yeah. Where they had One Liner Madness. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be that upstairs in the hall. Okay, yeah. yeah it's going to be the, in the big space. 200 seats and uh headliner, oh, headliner is a uh, jackie cation so jackie cation has um two awesome podcasts she has dork forests and she has the jackie and laura show she tours the country um dork forest what's that dude oh dude's about nerdy stuff man it's awesome yeah hell so, yeah yeah all right yeah she's great, <laughs> yeah, she's great. I, I opened for her at the barber shop um last year Okay. And uh, she's great. She's about this tall. She's hilarious. Hell yeah, dude. Been doing it for years. She'll she'll post like pictures of herself doing comedy like 30 years ago. She's a baby. And I'm just like, yeah. you know. And uh, she goes hard, man. And she's been on Conan a bunch of times. She just did, um, was it After Midnight with Tara Thomason? Yeah. Uh, she tours a lot with Maria Bamford. They're like BFFs. Hell yeah, dude. But uh, yeah, but Jackie Cation is... Um, I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm saying her name very quickly. Jackie Cation. She <laughs> is incredible. We'll do Pittsburgh, man. We don't enunciate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Time, time. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pittsburghers just kind of tossed together, dude. You yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Angela, play poker with the duck guards, and it's just like what I said was, do you all want to play poker <laughs> with a deck of cards? Do, you, do either of you ever see that clip of cops from the early '90s Hell in Pittsburgh? Yeah, dude. No. Charles, get down. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> dude. Do you realize how awesome it would be if they did uh, like if they did like a like a to catch a predator in Pittsburgh? <laughs> it would just be like you know, hey, wh- hey, listen, is Brienne here? <laughs> 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 hey, I brought a bunch of them hard turners for you, babe. Come on. I stopped by sheets. Yeah. Got, I stopped by. I picked up some condoms and sheets. <laughs> got some hard turns. I got tea. made fun. So I lived in South Florida for a few years. Sure. And I got made fun of relentlessly, dude. Like it was bad. I would say, like I'd be like, "Hey, <laughs> and grab the buggy." Grab like, the buggy. <laughs> I'm gonna red up my room. Do you st- am I all right? So I'm yeah. not cr- okay. I'm yeah. not crazy. They're like, "What the fuck does that mean? What is red up your room?" I'm cleaning my room. Uh, oh, oh, dude, if you okay? So I actually have so like so for um, about seven years now. I've been doing a show at the arcade called Real Pittsburgh Stories. It's one of the longest running um, storytelling shows in the city. Okay, all right, hell yeah. And I always begin by just making fun of the accent because it's great. All right, it is. So I'll tell you right now, it's I'm, definitely. <laughs> Very distinguished. Yeah, Hold on, you guys. Dist- distinguished. Um, but it's like uh, in my hometown, no one says my name properly. So, uh-huh. no, so no one says Dave Stewart. They say D A Y, which spells they. Then S T A R T, which spells start. 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 Day start. They start. So, <laughs> so if I saw someone from like high school, hey, what's up? They start. How's your mom? She's still working. And I'm just like, yeah, dude. How's it going? How are you? Good to see you. 
Yeah, man, it was it was bad. Uh, they made fun of me about a lot of things. I don't say yins as much anymore. I say y'all a lot more. No! Yeah, I still say yins, but yeah. like I spent like enough time in the south and down there to be yeah. like y'all. <laughs> and that's what I kind of <laughs> lean into more now. Dude, um, I, I was in Boston, Massachusetts, and a guy in Boston told, said to me, i tell you what, kid. <laughs> Down there, you guys talk fucking wicked, weird kid. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, Wh huh, what? Yeah, it's I don't know just, if you're yeah. looking for a pair of khakis yeah. or your car keys. Yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I, 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 I fucking left my khakis in my yeah, khakis. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, all right. <laughs> I actually really love that. Um, the Casey Affleck. SNL sketch about Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I I've don't been the, know if I've seen. Dude, that. I've been to Boston a bunch. They nailed it. Yeah, it's all about like you know, you know, new fall, you know, new you know holiday flavors of Dunkin'. And it's people just people who are like normal being like you know, you know, I get up in the morning and call or use the app and get a coffee. It's ready for me. Yeah. And then it's Casey Affleck as a Boston guy being like being like, it's me, Balake from yet another podcast. Just wanted to let you guys know we're proudly brought to you. By the meatiest of guys. Me, guys. Are you tired of having subpar meats in your mouth? You know that supermarket meat full of glue? Dye? God knows what else. Well, drive your ass up to West State Street and look no further than meat, guys. The number one source of quality meat in all of Lawrence County. With premier selections of everything to beef and chicken, pork and lamb, these guys will do you right and fill you all with whatever meat you desire. Hell, they might even be able to get you some ostrich if you ask enough. Use the promo code MEATYAPPERS for 10% off your order. And tell them Blake and Anthony sent you. Meat guys, West State Street, Newcastle. If you're driving towards Walmart, you absolutely cannot miss it. Or find them online at meatguys.com. That's M-E-A-T-G-U-Y-Z dot com. Or Facebook.com, meet guys with a Z. Fucking love Duncan's kid. You're talking about <laughs> absolutely. You know, yeah. come down here, have a crawler, have a cup of coffee, a cup of parmesan, it'll be dumped. It's kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have that video? I want to see. I that. tried to put it on, but it won't work on the TV. I'll pull it up on my phone. No, I have to Sick. see it, dude. Um, <laughs> I uh. I love Come yeah, on, yeah. Charles. The, 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 the Pittsburgh cops is really funny. And I love it. it's like um I actually me and uh Big Hoss has had this talk about how like you never see in a movie or a TV show where someone has a Pittsburgh accent. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's true. Cause even like Mike and Molly with Billy Gardell, you know, from, from Pittsburgh is is in uh I wonder, Chicago, you know I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to rewatch Zach and Miri make a porno and see if they do it all. There was one guy in there that had like that at least was like kind of Pittsburgh guy, but it wasn't yeah. good. It wasn't like a real yeah. action or anything. Yeah. Yeah, because like I'm trying to like and like I don't fucking yeah. think like you're yeah. right. But even like in like striking distance. Wait. His sister comes and starts yelling for him to get down. Why are they oh, showing wait. a baby picture? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's from Newcastle. Yeah, dude. She's like she took family photos down Cascade Park. <laughs> <laughs> Mom loves you. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she used to work at Hudson Lunch. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's that one. Um, she gave me extra vinegar on my French fries, <laughs> dude. Fucking there, for sure. <laughs> There's that one political ad that's right now that where the ladies like um, it's like everything's gone up, gas, food. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. I'm so tired of hearing about 
uh, Bob Casey and Dave McCormick. It's not even funny, dude. That's fucking. <laughs> I hate both of them, dude. They're both sound like bad guys. Just. <laughs> yeah. I've been just avoiding. Oh, everything it's bad. well like yeah. every ad on youtube yeah. is about bob yeah. casey and dave mccormick yeah. and you lately. can't skip them either no yeah, you can't no. skip them yeah i was just complaining about this what yeah. 93 second unskippable ads what the yeah. fuck dude i'm gonna vote for the person who builds a firewall around youtube or we just get fucking <laughs> which, which actually goes back to like before which is like evil corporations they don't care youtube's like well we want the ad revenue so it's like if you'll give us more of your money you can run a long as ad as you want. Yeah. Do you know it's what I mean? fucking, yeah. yeah. All you yeah. hear about is, like I said, Bob Casey, Dave McCormick, uh, Donald Trump, uh, Kamala Harris, and fucking Squarespace. Like, fucking, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> um, do, you guys, do you guys ever watch um, Mr. Show with Bob and David? Okay, I love this, yeah. right? Yeah. So, he, um, there was one sketch where, I can't remember what the guy's name was, but it was Bob Odenkirk playing the character, and his whole ad was like, was like, was like, I am not a lawyer. I just want to hang out with you, and do whatever you want to do. And it's like, he came over, well, help, me, help me weed my garden. Ceremonial and, license, or yeah, fucking, and, or a siren. And, and then he just kind of left. That was nice. He's like, and you know, he didn't, he didn't hit on me. He's like, second promise, I will not have sex with you. And, yeah, and it was just like, that's my kind of guy. Like, listen, yeah. is, I'm not running for office. I'm not trying to, like, get your money. I just want to hang out. Hang out. out. Yeah. yeah. I just, just want to be your friend, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking... Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... But, um... That's funny. That's the kind of skit that I expect to see on, like, I Think You Should Leave. I really <sighs> love I Think You Should dude, Leave. I Think You Should Leave is so good. I like the one wherever he <laughs> wouldn't know that he was choking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, you were choking. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll pay yeah, for it. Wait. I'm good. No, I'm all right. Wait. Stinky. Yeah. <laughs> the no. water doesn't no. stink. You can't no. swallow because <laughs> you, you're choking. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. I like the one. Um, the hot dog suit was great. It's like you are just a hot dog. Yeah. So is that guy? Yeah, Dude, yeah. You can't arm, man. Yeah. yeah, I like uh, when he's like, we're all just. He's talking about the porn. He's like, <laughs> X and X. Simpson stuff. <laughs> so I actually used to work. I worked for like maybe four months, not very long. So I, there was a. So I used to be um, a, a way more serious, like a, like a wedding and event DJ. Yeah. Okay. So weddings, proms, whatever you got, I, I I would do it right. Well, you know, pandemic hit, and yeah. I was poor. <laughs> so I took a job for a little bit. I was working for Adult Empire in Cranberry. Oh okay? shit. Doing customer service over the, over the phone. It was terrible, oh my but hilarious. God. Yeah. Okay? Dude, listen. <laughs> there's, I'll say it right now, there's too much porn. <laughs> <laughs> too much porn, too many kinds of porn. You you people are gross. Yeah, <laughs> it's wild. You can, you can name any yeah. people, scenario, place, object, anything. And what's, what's it, Rule yeah. 34? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> porn exists for it. It's awful. Yeah. What? Why? Why is there so much? And they call it now family role yeah. play. Yeah. What's wrong yeah. with you? What's Listen, wrong with you? One of my favorite jokes to say is, I don't care what Pornhub says. Families don't have to act that way, dude. It's yeah. fucking. That is great. It's uncouth, yeah. really. Yeah, it's it's un fucking. It's, uncouth. <laughs> it's like ninety percent of the shit. Yeah, on man, the you internet can't now. Even look anything up without being like, yeah. It's but, always. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking. I don't want to see you fuck your sister. Buddy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck like, yeah. You, you have to watch so it with the like, volume that's, down, dude. The, the, is that yeah. where we've gone now as a society? We're like, you. It just can't be boobies anymore. Yeah, it has yeah, to be it's like, back to the Roman Empire. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, uh, Nate, what's up, Nate? My, my, my old coworker, right? Yeah. Because he was so young, I had to explain to him Skinamax, <laughs> and he was like, "What's that?" I'm like, "Well, dude, you never seen Emmanuel?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, from 11:30 until like three in the morning on yeah. Cinemax, HBO, all those those channels. They would show like just stuff yeah. with pretty much boobies in it. I mean, yeah. I ripped one uh, off the taxi cab confessions ones. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was 
just felt like I'd watch that one and there yeah. ne- I, I would never see a boob in yeah, it. Yeah, no, you always got probably the drunk guys that yeah. just throwing up and causing problems. I got a couple lucky ones where they're getting busy in the back. I'm like, you know what? I'm fucking 14. I could <laughs> crank no. one out to this, I think. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> it's funny the things you, t- you talk about with your wife. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm sorry, honey, but like, so, I was but we for a few years. We, yeah, no. <laughs> it's fine. We laughed our asses off talking about how much we both used to watch um, Real Sex and um, G String Divas. Oh, Love that yes. shit. Yeah. And um, but there was this what one. What about Ruth? What, what? <laughs> the old sex ed lady? Oh, Dr. Uh, Ruth. Yeah. Dr. Ruth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. She was great. Yeah. Um, oh, remember watching, I used to watch a Love Line with Dr. Drew and Angola. <laughs> that one was that one was awesome. I love yes. that one. That was great. I um uh, but uh yeah, it's it's um but just like cause now the kids now they they all have had you know oh, man. bang bros on their phone for twenty yeah, years. Dude. Yeah, they don't yeah. know they don't know the sheer panic of yeah. trying to like you know finish before the girls gone wild at it's over. Yeah, you know what I mean like, well, you know what was really cool. So at one at one point uh, during my teenage years, my dad started programming the illegal direct TV cards. So we had all the pay-per-view for free. And that included <laughs> all the porn, dude. Yeah. And, dude, what a heyday that was. What, Thanks, Dad. What a heyday. Thanks, Dad. That's yeah. fucking... Ours was... Um, <laughs> he would sell them. He would sell pre-programmed... I don't know. It, this is past the statute of limitations, I'm sure. It's yeah. like, he can't get in trouble now. He's like 73. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> hey, 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 man, they got Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, ours, ours was Channel 19. So it was, I would just like feverishly with one hand flip back and forth yeah. trying to see a pixelated booby. Just real quick, it was like in the waves. I was like, oh, that was, that yeah, was half yeah, a Yeah, you got to make it out. Yeah. You just see a nipple. You're like, ah, there it is. <laughs> I, um, and I made it. It's like, <laughs> I, uh, um, what does it say? Uh, this is where I was talking to Andy, actually about the, 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 with Andy about like, I, you know, I feel like, I kind of miss the days of like having a bunch of blank tapes. You would just tape stuff with you. Know what I mean, because I had my WWF Raw tape, had my Nitro tape, I had one that was labeled music videos. That <laughs> after a while was half music videos and half real sex. And uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you could just record. Yeah, whatever. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, man. That but I, but I did used to. Man. I did used to wa- tape a bunch of music videos on, off MTV and so I would have I'd keep it in the VCR so I would, I would just like have my awesome mixtape of like different music videos it was yes, great yeah. yes yeah man that yeah. was like the best back in the day yeah man I, I used Doing to also like love um, uh, recording songs off the radio yeah, yeah. Was I used to, to do, do shit yeah. like yeah. that yeah yeah, well, that was the way to do it back then, yeah. too. Like, you didn't really have, like, if you wanted to, like, be able to play it whenever you wanted, that's yeah. kind of like what you had to fucking, unless you bought it, you know. Did, did you guys see that thing? It was going viral for a while there. Oh, sorry. Um, it was, it went, My knees are always popping. Uh, 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 I'm an old skateboarder. Is, oh, no, I just I just bumped the microphone. I, oh. like, uh, <laughs> I thought you were talking I, about uh, your knee popping. I'm no, like, yeah. I'm, well, there was that, like, it went viral a, couple, got viral a while ago, and it was the lady who, she was from New York City. And she recorded, she recorded everything off TV for like thirty or forty years. I know who you're talking. Yeah, I heard so about this that. lady, she passed away, but she had like thousands of VHS and Betamax tapes oh in her God. apartment, and it's like it's the greatest collection of American television ever. Oh my God! Like recorded she had the original recordings of Princess Diana dying. Yeah, I bet, dude. Oh, everything. Yeah. The original recording of Kanye saying. George Bush hates <laughs> black people. <laughs> Fucking <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> my my mom recorded the entire OJ trial <laughs> oh, off, off of me. No. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. I remember staying home sick from school whenever Katrina happened and seeing live. Kanye do that. That's why oh. I brought that up, dude. Yeah, he was with Michael Myers. You know, fucking and Michael Myers just like um, you what? <laughs> oh, remember whenever? Uh, remember when Kanye? Uh, went to the White House with Trump, and he unlocked his phone on television, and his code was zero 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 zero. <laughs> no, yeah. that's hilarious. He unlocked though. his phone on live television. <laughs> a guy who was a legit billionaire went zero 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 on sense, live dude. TV. You would, you would never, you never guess think that, of it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, so good. He's like, actually like, so. He's a madman, dude. He's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> one of my favorite albums yeah. of all time. And the only album from hip hop to ever make me legit cry, sincerely, was um, his first album was uh, Call's Dropout. Yeah. That album is Call's a Dropout. masterpiece. That is my yeah. favorite rap album of it's all time. It's a masterpiece. It's an absolute masterpiece. But I do think there's people that, like, <sighs> They just something happens. And they like completely ruin their legacy. Yeah, yeah dude. You know, yeah. Like become like, a Nazi. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's but, but, well, I think the problem is that like you have these people that. Uh, that's a big like, problem. Like, so <laughs> when Prince, R.I.P. When, when Prince, he turned his name into a symbol. Uh, no, um, when Prince went into the um, Hall of Fame, all right, he was giving a speech. He began with, to all young artists in attendance, a real friend or mentor is not on your payroll. And I think a lot of these people who get like these that lose their minds because yeah. yeah. they're so rich. Yeah. And they everybody get lost around in the them. Sauce, yeah. Dude. Yeah. yeah. It's Every, fucking everyone in their life is someone that they pay. So it's like, hey, if you pay my bills, I won't tell you no. Right. right. Or dude. that you're fucking up. Yeah. yeah. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, you need people around that's gonna be like, Hey, what the fuck are you yeah, doing? Yeah, what are you, are you doing? Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, you're crazy and, and right now. Nobody <laughs> no one in his life can be like, Hey, listen, I gotta talk to you. You're <laughs> fucking up. Yeah. And that, and that every time you see a celebrity who <laughs> like is who really messes up, that's what's that's what's happening. Is no you know, like, I believe like, that. Yeah, like P. Diddy. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. do you need that much baby oil? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like that's the truth. That's like, crazy. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> everyone like that is that like just people cracky. Yeah. Is that people <coughs> like aren't like you need people in your life that will that will check you and tell you like like example is that my my wife who is awesome has no desire to do comedy. She does. She doesn't want to be in in my world. I can go and do my little dog and pony show. She doesn't care. Yeah. I come home and she doesn't care. She says, "How was the show? It was good. Cool. End of story." You know what I mean? Boom. You need someone like that in your life that can bring you back to the earth. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's Cause, fair, yeah. man. Because I've had I've had some bad shows where she was like, "Let me give you a hug." Yeah. I've also had some amazing shows where you're like riding that that wave of yes. like of, of like I was crushing them, baby. Yeah. She's like. That's nice, honey. We need milk. Yeah. What can I yeah. say except you're welcome? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's just like. <laughs> yeah. That's I, how it feels, though, whenever you crush. You're like, I know, dude. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, and, uh, <laughs> so have you have you done the road at all? Have you done road gigs at all? <laughs> no. Um, uh, I mean, like what? I've done like s- stupid things in Ohio, fucking West Virginia. Oh, that's called Ohio. No, yeah. That's, right. that's, <laughs> Yeah, you know. Dude, Ohio's the Wild West. My family has a camp. <laughs> We've had a camp um, over in uh, Andover, Ohio, okay. not far from here, by Pima Tuning. Yeah. For like 35, almost 40 years. Yeah. And they have a little camp store called Ray's Camp Store on the campgrounds. Mm-hmm. And dude, you can go and buy like hot dogs, charcoal, and a bottle of whiskey, maybe. And yeah. You can, you can, and it's Hell like, yeah, dude. You, you can buy loose, cold beers out of a cooler <laughs> for a buck. <laughs> they'll, they'll sell um, the, like, like, uh, like, like uh, pony bottles, yeah. For like, I'm not kidding, ninety cents. <laughs> you get changed back down a buck. There's just a Bubba Cola logo on it for some oh, reason. Man. Just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I uh, oh sorry, I'm sorry. I got um, but um, like, I remember um, talking about this a little bit. I love the um, it's on all signing podcasts. Yeah. So uh, did you guys watch this all signing Philadelphia? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, I have a tattoo. If you can't, I don't know if you can see it or not. I, I, I have a, I have the rum ham. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. But, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> but they talk about how like so uh, Rob Rob McClenney, obviously him and Ryan Reynolds yeah. bought Wrexham yeah, yeah, football yeah, club, yeah. right? And so he's like, they 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 won their division, wherever they won their league, wherever they they won the thing, right? Yeah. He's like, we the team that I co-own we won this thing he's like there's we're we're celebrating we're drinking we're we're crying we're hugging yeah. there's literally welsh people singing songs they wrote <laughs> with my name in them <laughs> okay it's amazing we do press we're celebrating in the locker room he's like i came home there's no one home i had always i do all my laundry i had, I had three of laundry to do and my wife left a note saying, could you please feed the dogs and clean up the poop in the backyard? <laughs> and I think that, like, so um, 
I haven't done a, a ton of the road. I've just done, I, I call it the triangle. So I, I do lots of like Morgantown shows, Cleveland shows, Erie, that kind of area. You know, yeah. like, like, you know, um, I'm doing Altoona next month. Sick. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's the show? What's the show? Uh, bowling and comedy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's... Bowling and comedy night. Uh, headliner, uh, Mike Quinn. Um, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Aaron Douglas is going to be on it. Um, me and, uh, I forget the last guy's name. I forget. Uh, so I'm Ryan sure. DeWitt. He's not from over this way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's from, I think, over towards Altoona, uh, maybe even. Wh- I forget where Mike's living now, over towards Philadelphia, R- Reading, okay, maybe, cool. or something. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, something that, like, you learn when you. Again, I haven't done a ton of the road, yeah. but. And this is just like. If you're newer to comedy, for example, here's a little bit of advice. Is that like, you know, you stay in a hotel. Is that, dude, it can get real weird real quick. Because just because, like. That's how I like you know, it, really. you, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> all right, it's like, boom, okay, it's it's time for a show, right? Show day, okay? Yeah. You get up in the morning, you pack your bag, you kiss your wife and your and your kids goodbye, you get in your car, you go to the show, that's exciting, right? Yeah. You check into your hotel, that's fun. Right, you're gonna hotel. Sometimes yeah, that's yeah, frustrating. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you're like, "Come on, yeah, but you, lady, you, let's you, go." Yeah. You like, you like getting your, you, you get in your room. You're like, "Ooh, I'm in my room." Then you find some food. That's kind of fun. You, <laughs> then you go to the, you go to the show. That's fun. You meet people. Hey man, what's up? Hey man, hey man. good to yeah. see you. Good to meet you. Right. Then hopefully you have a good set. Okay. Hopefully <laughs> right. people are laughing. Yeah, you have having a, good, a set. good time. But it's almost worse if you have a really good set. Right. You have a good set. Everyone enjoys it. People are laughing. People clap, clap for you. Show's over, talk to the comics, have a couple beers, you chill. Then what happens? You get yeah. in the Uber, yeah. you get back to the hotel, and you're now, now you're alone yeah. in the hotel room. Yeah. And you're, you're still on that wave of like yeah. feeling you're good. you flip through like 27 channels. Yeah. Like, it's fucking, <laughs> he's like, it's all, they're all local. You're like, I'm yeah. not from here. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, you're just, it's just quiet hotel room. Yeah. Dude, that's humbling. It, it's humbling. My, my little bit of a road experience, I'll tell anybody, bring a book or if you can, like, see if your boyfriend or girlfriend will bring, whole, system, we'll bring with you. Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. start bringing my PS5 places. Just fucking. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's just like, I, uh, so many times I've just like, eaten too much from the vending machine. <laughs> that was my Yeah. I was like, well, I'm going to, Go get some Swiss rolls, baby. Yeah, and some fucking Swedish fish or something. <laughs> Swedish fish are the... I only like two kinds of gummies. Yeah. I like Swedish fish and peach rings. Peach rings. Both yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Both good. I Actually, I hate gummy bears. Really? Yeah, I just think... I think they all taste the same, number one. That's fair. That's fair. And I think they have an awful texture. Okay. So, so you, gum, gummy like bears and worms. at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Street sharks. Yes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Dude. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> I remember like being a kid when they were advertising the uh, the new um, white and orange tiger shark street <laughs> shark and losing my shit. I was like, I need, I need it. I gotta <laughs> taste that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it just tastes like gummy. Yeah. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Then or like the Simpsons, the gummy of Venus de Milo. Oh yeah. Homer yeah. Batman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On, on the girl's ass. Oh yeah, that's whenever uh they went to this gummy expo. No, it was a candy expo. And Homer stole the most valuable gummy, the gummy Venus to Milo. And then the that girl sat on it, and he peeled it off her ass. Yeah. <laughs> they thought she was he was like sexually assaulted. Yeah, <laughs> because he was being a Homer. So when she turned around, he was like, oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. It's also the ones I, I love when the Simpsons completely abandon logic, <laughs> and we're yeah. so like they, he steals the Venus to Milo, right? And they're running. So Homer takes like uh, a can of soda and a thing of pop rocks and, yeah. goes and shakes it and throws it. And oh, it explodes. Yeah. <laughs> like a like a thunderous explosion. Yeah. And that's how they get away. Yeah. I, I mean, love when they're, they're just like, you know what? It's a cartoon. It just turns into yeah. a movie out yeah. of nowhere. Yeah. 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 It's a cartoon. No, I, it's fine. Man, you guys got me wanting to just. You should. Dude, I should. Skip actually. the first two seasons, though. Really? Yeah, I Skip mean, the, first the second one's pretty good. The first you, one, they were you, kind of, you was, can they, watch they, they, them, they but, but yeah. well, even this is so like, like the way it's formatted, the first couple of seasons of Always Sunny is rough. 
Yeah. yeah. Because it's not formatted for a widescreen. Like, I don't know yeah. if you've watched. If you think you, like, the so first like, season isn't the funniest, but if you think you can stick it out and get to the. Yeah. How many episodes per season is it? It's it's usually like um, I think the first one's only like thirteen, but yeah, they're usually yeah, like 22, 24 yeah, or yeah. something. Actually, like that. I've you know, I bro, I'm like caught up on One Piece. Dude. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> there's <laughs> over a the, thousand. The, the last dude, couple years they've fucking... done eight episodes, but for a while there it was like sixteen. But I think that first season that's was still like not a lot though yeah. for like twenty minute episodes. I I, I think, that, dude, I don't know how how anybody writes. 16 episodes of television. That's yeah. Been, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I do think that, when, be they, exhausting. That, that when they brought in Dan DeVito, that really made the show. Yeah. Because all the also because I think that he came in, he wasn't trying to be the star. He was, he, he added. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think Night he's, I think he's, yeah. dude. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, it's how you guys are uh, playing under the blanket. <laughs> yeah. and, and like, well, that's what we're doing, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's a rum ham. I like his ham has been soaked in rum. I like when he fucking steals the ferry, and he's fucking explaining to the people all the things they've been doing and fucking. <laughs> yeah. Like who's trying to Charlie? He's my buddy. We hang out. <laughs> it's so good. That episode is actually really funny. And actually, they said because they they had that podcast, but they haven't done it in a while. But they yeah. were talking about how they just they just told Danny just recap the show. Yes, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. so fucking. Bad. Yeah, just, just, just tell, you know, it's, it's like there's this waitress. Charlie's in love with her. Well, <laughs> I I banged yeah. her, but you know it was a lot of fun. She was a good piece of ass. Yeah, the, <laughs> the progression of rickety cricket R- and regression. Yeah, yeah. 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 Regression. yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's just like so fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Sometimes, just like they ground him into the gutter, like. <laughs> They Literally fucking, every fucking thing bro, that could happen without yeah, dying. Yeah, and the amount of people they just destroyed their lives yeah. for being and, around and, them and, and is they unbelievable. Because I guess like the 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 main like theme of the show is that like almost everything their characters do that's terrible, they've either seen it in real life or they just hate when people do that. Yeah, so yeah they're kind of yeah. trying to be like, listen, if you do these things, you're a shitty person. Yeah, yeah, yeah Our yeah. characters are <laughs> shitty people. The and Dennis method. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Wow. It's like, oh, I dropped my Magnum condom. Yeah. No, for my my Mosley condom for my <laughs> Magnum dom. What, 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 oh, what did he say about getting them on the boat? What was it? The, uh, the implication. The implication. Yeah. Yes, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's what, about the implication. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, clearly they said no. It'd be no, right? But but they want to say no because of the implication. <laughs> the implication. Are you gonna hurt them? No, 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 man. no. Where are you getting? Yeah, they're gonna do it just because. Uh, of we're the in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but I always love whenever uh, they. So I love when they like pair them off, right? Yes. Where because I like that, like so because occasionally, so it's like <laughs> when Dennis or D needs to show that they're high class, <laughs> they pair them up. Yeah. Okay? So Dennis and D are elitist, right? Yeah. When it's going to get real trashy, you put together Mac and Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Okay? But then when you need, um, but I do think that when you pair together. When you need a wild card. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wild card. But, but I love the, it gets really silly though with Charlie and D. Yeah. It gets yeah. silly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I like the one that, when uh, Frank told them they ate uh, human meat. So oh, yeah. Animals, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that or was whenever really uh, fucking, uh, what was it, Mac? Was it Mac and D doing coke? Who was it doing coke? Or oh, was oh, it, oh, no, it was, it was, it was, it was uh, Dennis, Dennis and, D. and D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was okay. crack. Yeah, 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 and they crack. Start, yeah, and they start doing crack. Yeah. I, I love when they, because, you know, they were like, they were still racist, so they yes. got to buy crack, and it's like, um, uh, one, please. <laughs> one what? One crack. Crack rock? Okay, yeah. <laughs> sure, uh, $200. Uh, oh, that's a good deal. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... uh is there anything you want to plug coming up? We talked about uh, a few things. Already, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, this would be kind of edit, edited. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, he's not going to be like... I yeah. have to pee. Um, no. I'll burst, I'll turn. <laughs> so, okay. um, I, uh, Maybe you should keep no. it now. <laughs> Dude, first, never, like, um, I had to explain to my wife... Um, <laughs> The troubles of peeing with a boner. Ah, yes. Like, how you got to make a choice. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, do you, do you wait it out? Do you wait till it goes away? 
Usually, I do. I, I, I do. Bend. I do the. I do the. I pull the pants all the way down, and then lean. Lean, yeah. yeah I do the the lean. <laughs> you do like, the yeah, lean. I do the yeah. lean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you can you can try and sit down, but you might, might piss in back your back, back your knees. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you so, got to be careful um, with it. Uh, so coming up, actually, yeah, I guess just um. So October fourth, I'm going to be at uh, actually the Snowflake Comedy Club in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Um, Hell yeah. October 5th, I'm going to be at Black Monk Brewery in Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, October 11th, I'm going to be at the um, uh, Carnegie Science Center. Oh, shit. Cool, man. Where Hell we're yeah. actually we're doing – I am I am Dave Stewart, Jaboy. I'm playing Bigfoot. We're doing the roast of Bigfoot. Oh, right? my God. Oh, so, that is so yeah. cool, so dude. That, that is uh, <laughs> produced by, by Mike – um, Digliamo, Mike Diggy, yeah, okay, is, is from, from Obi House, yeah. Um, that's his joint, and that's gonna be really a lot that of fun. Is so cool. Um, I know uh, the very funny Zevon uh, Vasco is gonna be on that show. Hell it's gonna yeah, be great. Dude. Cassie Bruno is gonna be on that show. It's gonna be great. Nice, dude. Um, October twelfth, I'm gonna be at King's View uh, Meat House and Winery, Law Hall, Vi- Vi- Vinny Vinny yeah. P show, which is great. Um, what else? Got? I'm, I think I'm missing something. Um. Then uh, yeah, then November second is uh, the Chipped Ham Comedy, Comedy Jam. Jam. Yeah. Put your in calendars. Yeah. Um, I'm calling it. It's a mini festival. So it's in yeah, two man. halves. Okay. So the first half of the show is called the Ham. And it's kind of a rapid fire showcase. It's hosted yeah. by Asher O'Brien. He's like Drew Shabetta, Mega Pie, Kimberly Bennett, um, okay, Jeff cool, Fieldhouse, man. Teresa Roberts yes. Logan, um, headlined by Shannon Norman. The second half is called the Sauce. <laughs> it's hosted by me, Dave Stewart. Ja boy. <laughs> I think it's really funny because I'm a suburban dad. Um, <laughs> but that has Brittany Alexis, then headlined by Jackie Cation. Oh, all right. So it's going to be, it's going to be, oh, yeah, dude. Stack That's line be up. Fun, dude. Yeah. So doors open at, uh, at six. You have an hour to come in and get some drinks in you, baby. Yeah. We're okay. doing an intermission in, the, in between. Get some more drinks in you so we can party, have a great time. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll be having be some drinks. I, I'm only doing five minutes of material, so I'll be after doing all the work. I'll be loosey <laughs> goosey. Yeah, just trying to enjoy the work yeah. put in. It's gonna be great. Yeah, oh, yeah. so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm so, yeah. definitely gonna. I'm gonna make him come. Uh, yeah, I'll come. Oh really? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Word. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. M- m- uh, I'm what? making people calm with me. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, please follow me on social media. Um, you can find me on Instagram. It's uh, Biggest Dave 412 I share I share your stuff sometimes. Yeah, thank you very man. much. Yeah, um, I, uh, well, please follow uh, Chipped Ham Comedy. Yeah, I post man. all the stuff for the yeah. uh, upcoming shows. Got um, all kinds of cool shit coming yeah. up. And please keep supporting independent comedy everywhere. Okay. Yeah. You fucking should, because yeah. we're about to start doing shit here in town too. So yeah. like, yep, yeah. Please support independent comedy, because if you honestly, don't, then you fucking suck. You know, <laughs> I concur. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. All right, y'all. Uh, if you stay to the end, we love you as usual. Thank you. Dave for coming yeah. on, man. Yes, we appreciate thank you. it. This was nice. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming, much. man. Yeah, this was fun, dude. I knew it was gonna be. So awesome. Yeah. All right. Bye. Stepping on the gas, no brake light. I got a big dream and I aim high. Take a risk every time I play dice. I shake them up and it's snake eyes. I'm the same guy on the same grind. Busy printing money, watch the paint dry.